nosotros a los pobres directamente meternos la mano en el bolsillo y subiendo la gasolina y el diésel necesitamos trabajar y nos duele a los ricos perdonan y a los pobres nos sacan por esa razón estamos nosotros aquí para defender lo nuestro nada más tenemos que levantar hasta que solucione este problema vamos a levantar no vamos a dejar todo vamos a levantar hasta que firme hasta que bajo y baje la gasolina todo tenemos que levantar Shalom, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Brakata, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. Peace and salutations to the elected are scattered abroad. I'm the brother of Bhagavad coming at you with a quick sit down through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, and Kakur Dash, Yahweh Shah Rakazaz, edifying to the hopeful elect. Alright, the video you just saw was the protest and the riots going on over there in Ecuador. And as you see, man, these, these protests and these riots are getting closer and closer and closer to Mystery Babylon, also known as America, man. All right. These riots are coming to America and they're coming fast, man. And when they hit America, it's going to be the worst of the worst, man. America is going to get it the worst, man. There's going to be riots, insurrection, all right, persecution, all right, famine pestilence, disease, all different types of uh, nonsense, and it's not gonna just die away, man. Once these riots start happening, that's it, man. Then we're in Jacob's trouble, man. And and times are only gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai returns with his early angels, man. And those nuclear missiles hit, man. The end game of all these riots is going to be nuclear destruction, man. That's what all these riots are leading up to is the end all be all which is the RFID microchip which is the mark of the beast and that nuclear destruction man alright so these riots man are, are no joke man and that day women are going to be getting snatched up by men and as you see in the video you don't really see much women alright have, have, these, these women out here that think they're men alright shaving their head fucking bull dykes all right they're gonna be in the house crying and, and, and showing their feminine spirit man they're going back to being women all right because right now the earth is built up on pride and wickedness all right but everything is going to go back to a natural righteous righteous order man all right but nonetheless, these riots are coming to America very quick, man. And it's prophecy, it's written on paper, and you know, it's faithful and true, man. So Psalms 96 and 13, before Yahweh, for he cometh, for he sh he cometh to judge the earth, he shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Right? So the the, the truth is being spread throughout the four corners of the earth right now. Uh, via the holy prophets and via the Rakakur Dash, the Holy Spirit, man. All right, that has been given to a uh, select men. All right, uh, 144,000 
prophets out here prophesying the downfall of America, prophesying the return of the Messiah, all right, prophesying the truth, man. And this world is catching righteous judgment. So all of these um, riots, all of these um, uh, protests and wars, rumors of wars, is all done in righteousness, man. It's righteous judgment, and it's only going to get worse, man. And it's coming to America very soon, man. The Most High is saving the best for last, man. America is going to get it the worst, man. America is is the melting pot of wickedness, man. All right, a bunch of homosexual damn faggots walking around, man. I, I worked in the city, man. I had a damn transvestite, all right, nigga, chilling with a nigga woman, man. And this transvestite was an Edomite, man, because the Edomites are the real niggas, man. The real ignorant ones, man. All right. And it was this damn tra transvestite chilling with the nigga woman. And the, the nigga woman was loving it, man. But, hey, everything's going back to its righteous order, man. Everything. And they going to catch judgment, man, in that day. Those two are going to catch judgment in that day, man. If you're a homosexual, if you're bisexual, if you're a transvestite, if you're part of the L LGBTQRS community, you're going to be destroyed in the upcoming destruction unless you repent, man. Alright, if you're if you're on the fence, oh, I don't care, God is all love, you're going to be destroyed in the upcoming destruction, man. Alright? So I'm going to read a little bit of 2nd Ezra's uh, 15 and 16. Uh, second Ezra 15 and 1 Behold speak thou in the ears of my people The words of prophecy Which I will put in thy mouth Saith Yahweh Shai And cause them to be written in paper For they are faithful and true Right these prophecies are faithful and true man Meaning they're going to come to pass man Everything that was written aforetime in the past Was written for our learning man And we're still playing out Bible prophecy Day by day, man. That's why all these riots, all these um, rumors of wars are going on. Well, that's because the Messiah said that these things would happen, man. All right. Let's grab that. Before he returns, right, man. All right. The book of Matthew. Chapter 24 and verse 6 And ye shall hear of wars And rumors of wars See that ye be not troubled For all these things must come to pass But the end is not yet For nation shall rise against nation And kingdom against kingdom And there shall be famines And pestilences And earthquakes in diverse places Right And we're hearing a lot of rumors of wars all right, all these other, all these nations are being gathered, uh, gathered over there in the valley of Yahweh Shabbat. All right, being gathered over there in the middle, middle East. All right, which is world where World War Three is going to kick off at. All right, which we're already pretty much in World War Three, man. It just hasn't hit the shores of America yet, man. And you know, there's a, a lot of news that has not been aired to the American people because, hey. The elites, they don't want you to know what's really happening in the world, man. They want to keep you as dumb as possible, man. They just want you to go to the club. They want you to watch TV and eat and eat yourself to death, man. They don't want you to research what's actually happening in the world, man. All right, why? Because the Messiah is about to return, man. All right, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, because the end, end all be all is one, the RFID microchip, and two, those nuclear missiles. The end all be all is the nuclear destruction that's coming across the world, man. All these riots, the, this pestilence, the famine, all, right, all these stores are closing down, the economic collapse, man, it's all gonna hit, man. When shit hits the fan, it's going to hit hard, man. All right, and it's not going to uh, return. All right, once these plagues are sent out, it's not going to return again, meaning it's not, that's it, it's, it's the end game, man. 
right? And, but the end is not yet, meaning those nuclear missiles are going to be the end game, man. We're going to have riots, um, which is already happening. Wars, proxy wars, race wars, all right? And then the end is going to come, all right, which is those nu nuclear missiles, all right? Um, we're in the beginning of sorrows right now, man. All right, this is the beginning of sorrows right here, man. And yeah, how Shai Rats is out, we get we get delivered out of this. All right. Um, and cause them, uh, Second Ezra fifteen to two, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. All right. Um, verse four. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So, for the people who didn't know, the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen and uh, chapter fifteen and chapter sixteen, are talking about the times we are living in right now. All right, it's explaining everything that's going to happen before the the downfall or, or the end of the world, so to say. Man. All right. Uh, behold, saith Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Right? Because it's all, all already been predestined. It's been written, so it, it, it was written that the earth would be given into the hand of the wicked men. And now the wickedness of the earth has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. All right? People eat abominable food, man. Christians tell you it's okay to eat whatever you want, all right? You have homosexual running rampant, man. Niggas getting gayer and gayer as the days go on, man. All right? You got uh, transvestites, LGBTQ community, man. Just a whole bunch of wickedness, and it's, it's, it's folly, and it's vexing to the spirit. But we're almost out of here, man. This shows you that we are almost out of here, man, all right? Um, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right, you got, um, you know, our own people killing, killing themselves, man. All right, our brothers, you know, well, not really our brothers because they're two thirds right now. We don't see them as our brothers, but, you know, really, Israel is just lost, man. All right, Israel is just lost, man. We, we, we hate our own people we hate ourselves and, and that's just prophecy man that's just fulfilling prophecy and the two-thirds man they got to be destroyed man they're too far gone man they are too far gone all right therefore saith Yahweh Shai, i will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit neither will i suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crying unto me, and the souls of the just and plain continue. All right. Um, verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. All right. So there's going to be plagues coming to Egypt. And this Egypt is not literal Egypt. This is spiritual Egypt, uh, which is America, man. And, and there's going to be plagues all around the world, man. Famine. All right, the economic collapse is coming, which brings in a famine. All right, and it's going to bring in uh, death. All right. And destruction, man. Pestilence, disease. All right. Um, let's see. Um... Verse 14, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right, and swords is, is a modern day gun, man, and that's what you see playing in the background, man. All right, one people standing up to fight against another, man. Swords in their hands. All right, you see people running up to the police, you see the police running up to uh, the people of Ecuador, and that's coming to America. You, you everyday Americans are going to have to fight up. There's going to be a, a, a sedition among men. I'm going to get that as well. It's in, it's in here, all right? There's going to be, you know, your average, average everyday American is going to be fighting up against the government, man. And that's the times we're coming into. Uh, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. 
right? And um, through spirit, let me see something real quick. This is the definition for sedition. Conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. All right, and that's what you see exactly happening in the video playing in the background, man, in Ecuador and France and all these riots, man. But it's coming to America. For there shall be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil, spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, so this is the times we're living in, man. All right. Yahweh Shai himself said... Your enemies are going to be them of the same household, man. Your family is going to be the first one to turn on you brothers that are doing his work in truth and sincerity. If you don't have your family in the truth, all right, your family is going to be the first one to turn. Even if you do got your family in the truth, man, hey, your family is going to turn on you, man. All right, the, 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 your family is the one to do the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, but nonetheless, there's going to be... Um, your neighbors are going to be trying to break into your house. Right, it's going to be all hell breaking loose and the upcoming destruction coming to America, man. Very soon. Very, very soon. All, right, all these prophecies are going to take place. All right. Um, go to 16. Uh, second Ezra 16 and 3 A sword is sent upon you And who may turn it back Right because the sword has already been sent out man Now it's slowly reaching the Americas And no one's going to be able to turn it back man There's nothing you can do To stop these riots These protests This race war The mark of the beast The new world order There's nothing you can do man All right, It's written it has to be done Jacob's trouble has to happen And it's coming very soon man Death and destruction has to happen for the kingdom of heaven to be ushered in. All right. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Um, may any man drive away uh, an hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in its stubble when it hath begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Right, Yahweh Shai, ultimately, the Messiah is the one who's sending all this stuff to the earth, man. Because this is the beginning of judgment. This is the beginning of judgment, all right? With wickedness comes judgment. So this earth is beginning to be judged for the wickedness that it, it, it indulges in, man. That's why you cannot be of this world, because if you are of this world, you are going to be destroyed in the upcoming destruction. All right. Um, second Ezra 16 and 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. All right. So once these plagues come man, that's it, man. It's the end game. All right. Once the plagues are sent, that's it. That means um, um, Babylon is uh, is on its way out, man. It's going to be burned with thermonuclear fire very soon. All right. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. All right. That's what Yahweh Shai said. This is the beginning of sorrows, man. We're in the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars. And the power shall stand in fear The beginning of evils What shall I do when these evils shall come? Alright, behold, famine and plague Tribulation, anguish Are sent as scourges for a memory But for all these things They shall not turn from their wickedness Nor be always mindful of the scourges 
price. So literally, man, during while all this shit is happening, people are still going to be indulging in their wickedness, man. That's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is sending 200 million nuclear missiles, all right? Millions of nuclear missiles are hitting this place, man. Because even throughout all the, the race riots, the wars, people are still going to be completely wicked, man. So then Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to send those nuclear missiles, man. All right. Verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. All right. A lot of people are going to die of the, the famine. All right. The lack of food. All right. When you can no longer go to Walmart, McDonald's, and any fast food place to buy your food, guess what? There's going to be riots, man. That's why neighbors are going to be breaking into your house. Trying to find anything they can eat, man. All right, there's going to be a lot of death coming to this place, man. All right. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bash, and Yahweh Shai, there's so much you can read in Second Ezra 15 and 16. I just wanted to grab a few, few scriptures because that's exactly what's happening. All right, but let me grab this Second Ezra 16 and 74. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith Yahweh Shai, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right, so through this all, brothers, just stay strong. Understand that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to fight for us. He's going to deliver us from the same thing that's coming to this earth, man. Yahweh Shai represents how we be those elect that are delivered from Jacob's trouble, from the tribulations. All right, you brothers, just keep doing the work and keep keeping the commandments and precepts to the best of your ability, man. Keep studying and understand we are almost out of here, man. All right, with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.